Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will just be doing a tutorial on this blue smoky look. And if you like the look and want to learn how to do it, then just keep on watching. First off, I'm going to start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It's in the shade Light Slash Medium Beige. And now I love not setting my concealer once I'm priming my eyelids just because the pigment of the shadows stick a lot better. That's just my personal preference now and I really love this new technique. Now we're just going to take our little OJ break and next I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be taking Raw Sienna to warm up my crease. This is my first transition color and then I'm going to be going in with Cypress Umber as well just to darken the crease. Alright, so next I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette and I'm just going to be taking that royal blue shade and just building that up in my crease. Um, if I ever mention any products throughout this tutorial without um, mentioning the shade or the name of it, I will leave all of that in the down bar. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette, and I know, I know, it's dirty, but I'm just going to be taking that one shade Cleopatra, it's just this really nice blue shimmer color, and I'm going to be packing that onto my lid. Then I'm going to be going into the ABH Prism Palette and I'm just going to be taking that one shimmer shade dimension and popping that on top of the blue shimmer color just to give it some shine. So 
so next I'm going to be taking the NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just going to be doing me a little wing or whatever. Y'all, I really don't even like wings like that, but we're just going to be doing this for the sake of the video. So that is it for the eyes. Now we're going to be doing the face. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. If you guys have any primer suggestions, please let them leave them down below. I have oily skin, BT dubs. And then I'm going to be taking the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and just spraying that all over my face. And then after that, I'm going to be taking the Peach Corrector from the LA Girl Pro Concealer line and just concealing my dark circles under my eyes. Alright, now I'm going to be going into foundation. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations. I'm going to be taking 330 in Toffee and 332 in Golden Caramel and just mixing those two. Dotting it all over my face and then just blending it in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Alright, so now for highlight and contour, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand and just highlighting all the necessary key points and then taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut and contouring my forehead and my cheekbones.
Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Re Revolution Banana Powder and I'm just going to bake a little bit under my under eyes. And then I'm going to bronze my face with this powder that I got from the beauty supply store. It's from Indense and it is in the shade Sunkiss. Now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette in Hot Spice and I'm going to be taking that mauve pink color and just popping that on the apples of my cheeks. Y'all, literally a year ago I didn't wear blush because I didn't see a purpose, but if you are like me and thought that there was no purpose to blush, you really need to get your life and stop playing yourself because blush is it. Now I'm going to be taking the MAC Illuminator in Global Glow and I'm just going to be highlighting all the necessary usual spots. Um, I got this highlighter maybe like two years ago when I was in high school and I really didn't like it because it didn't give me like that glow that you know that was super popular like at one point but I love it now because it just gives me that natural yet subtle glow that I need. So. If you are ever in MAC and wanting to try highlighter, you should definitely get this. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using two NYX products and one ColourPop product. The lip liner that I'm using, I believe, is in Downtown Beauty. If not, I'll have the correct name in the description box. Then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using Honey. Um, I used to really hate this until I learned how to work with it. If you ladies ever have a nude lipstick that doesn't look good on you by itself, I promise use a brown lip liner and it'll definitely balance out. And then for the lip gloss that I'm using, I'm going to be using the Karuchi um, collab with ColourPop, that color Leechy Me. It's one of my favorite glosses from ColourPop. And you guys should really go get you some. It's only $5.
Alright guys, so here is my final look. I really hope that you guys like this look and the tutorial as much as I did. Um, be expecting a lot more videos from me in the future, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!